Bonjour, mon petit fromagis. Welcome back to another episode of L.A. Noir with me, Cheddar. I hope you are looking forward to this, the combination of the white the shoe murderer, or the shoe murderer, whatever yeah, this one was. He's in an interview, too. He's in an interview, too. Thanks. Okay, dokey. What do you make of him? Sailor on furlough, who looks like he's in trouble and knows it. Oh, naughty, naughty. Uh, interview two. Interview two. Is this one? Is this one? Is it a user? You are just going to leave the door open without any police officers. Oh, no, no, there's no police officers to watch you. I don't want any trouble. That's why I'm here. I heard on the radio about this lady getting killed. I got leave from my CO to come down straight away. I don't believe you. So why did you kill her? I really don't believe you. I didn't kill anyone. Look, you need to believe me. Let's start at the beginning. Okay, contact me, the victim. You went to Baron's bar. What time did you arrive? I got a 24-hour pass. I got there around 7. That's where you met Teresa Terrelson? Sure. We had a couple of drinks. That is not all. So you tried to make a woman who was incredibly drunk? Look, I'm not proud of myself, but I never hurt her. You took her dancing? That's right. We caught a cab to the Crystal Ballroom. What is that confirm the, uh, the driver's thing? Is it with Bates? You had a fist fight with Richard Bates over Mrs. Terrelson. You met the guy? He's a creep. You should take a look at him for this. Again, I don't believe you, my friend. He's pointing the finger directly at you, Jessup. I only had one night before I was back in the tub. He had all the time in the world to look for some action. I belted him. I'd do it again. She was better off with me. Sure. You're a shining example of chivalry. Absolutely. Uh, movements prior to the murder. Where did you go after the crystal ballroom? Well, I think the wind had gone out of her sails by then. She caught a cab and I caught a bus back to the base. Again, I don't believe you. We spoke to the cab driver. Tell us what really happened at the crystal ballroom. I'd had enough. She was all upset about her husband bawling about her kids. She, she looked old. Left around closing, maybe 1.30. Got on a bus and she fell asleep on my shoulder. Which bus? An all-American, 249. I went past her place. She jumped off and I stayed on it downtown. After that, I caught another bus to San Pedro. The Indiana's down there. She's being scrapped. And that was the last you saw of Teresa? Mm. Yeah, that's right. We didn't say much. I think she was kind of embarrassed. Yeah, amazing how crying so is you up, isn't it? <laughs> familiar with Teresa. That's not how I'd put it. So the last thing you wanted was her playing hard to get. Did that make you mad, sailor? Yeah, it did. She knew what a guy's looking for. All broads do. Dancing comes second. And what happened? Dancing comes ball? second. Nothing. But not even a little hand relief. She had another couple of drinks. There was no fun left in her. Just poured her guts out to some bartender. Okay. We're holding you till we can clear this with the driver. Well, yeah, says, my CEO said as much. Like the whole thing that just you doubt everything you say. And inform the commander. Sure, detective. Got a message for you. Sighting of your disfigured hobo on Grand between Temple and Sunset. And it looks like the bow has a record, too. He's wanted in connection with two female assaults. Ooh. Thanks. What now? Drive all the way to San Pedro and check his locker? Let's see if the bus story checks out. There's a depot at 1660 Beverly Boulevard. Then it does go, my friend. Bus depot first. I think Three I... Three suspects in the can and one on the hook. And still no hard evidence Fuck, on any of them. For God's sake, if you... Yes. 11K, come in. Yes. 11K, go ahead. What? Patrolman reporting that Bobby Ross's car game is breaking up at midnight. 11K, roger that. Okay, cool. Plenty of time to get downtown, Paul. It's possible. Have them bring him in. KTPL. So... We have large parents <clears throat> picked up. I have three suspects. 11K, roger I have roger. the hobo still to interview. I have Bobby Ross to interview. This, see, like I said, these, oh uh, shit. These, okay. Okay, wait a minute. Calm what? Down. How? Oh, wait a minute. I drove into it hard enough for it to turn to rubber, but also hard enough to break it. How the fuck does that one work? This is bullshit. This is absolute bullshit. I don't understand any of this. This is just absolute crap. 
I don't. I, this is it's just crap. Abs physics in this game does not work for shit. Shit. Oh, I like a glove. Like a little ferret. The squeeze running gap is beautiful. Um, anyway, yes. So, we have three suspects. We have two potential more suspects. This crime, this case is just, it's a longer case. It's, it's kind of cool. It's nice to, like, it's nice they have this length to them. Oh, the buses look great, don't they? They look bloody cool as hell. Oh, lovely. It's beautiful. Old fashioned. Old timey. Old timey. In service. Well, you're clearly not in service. Uh, so it's got to be like a, a desk, right? A lady or a man who can answer some questions. As a man! Hello! Oh, as many people are your customers. Okay. Yes, he's fine. Um, thank you, ma'am. You have a safe trip now. Barton? Where are you boys headed today? Claire? LAPD. Claire Barton? We're after the driver of All American 249. Would have been around midnight onwards last night. Uh, just a minute. I don't know. I thought it was the lady from this morning. The, the suspect. Did not suspect Frank the witness. Zimarelli. He's your man. Where can we find him? Frank is out on the 7-4. Can you tell us the route? Hang on. Uh, I should have it mapped out here somewhere. 7-4. He's on the 7-4. Oh, that is fucking stupidly big. Wow, that looks like a I hope to God it marks every little stop for me. We're not going to drive the whole thing, are we? Won't take That's long. We have a siren. Okay, fine. I, know, I, just, I may as well just charge people while I'm on. Oh, the loop is red. That is helpful. Like, which, okay, which way do we think he is driving on? Oh, shit, I don't need to do that, do I? He's going to be going that way if he's on that side of the road, so... I don't know which side of the road he's on. I should shut up. I don't have a way. I was thinking... Are you in the car, Rusty? Rusty! Fucking... <laughs> Get in the car! All American 7-4. Hurry the fuck up. It. Awesome. See? Awesome. Very awesome. Okay, yes. So... Uh, this could be a long trip, Cole. Or it could be a short one. And here's me without my hip flask and only a pain in the ass for company. Way to kick off the drive in high spirits, Rusty. Shit. Comments like that put me in just the right mood for some legwork. Touchy. You know what your problem is? You don't like hard work. This kind of rigorous search is what police work is all about. Discipline. Saving to be fair, that Rusty has many issues. I don't think we can simplify it to just, you know, you're lazy. So I did that, I just stood down a bit, so I actually take the corner properly. Anyway, yeah, I don't know, it's just... I mean, this seemed more like filler. It's already a long case, and now you're gonna chuck this into it. It does seem a bit dickish. But fine, whatever. Um... Yes, I don't know. <laughs> I, got, I don't care, I don't care. Get out of the way, get out of the way. It's fine. I'm gonna have so much damage when I get to the end of this. There's no way I'm getting five stars. It is not possible. I just, I, this is how we drive in France. We don't give a shit. Nope, still no sign of it. <laughs> Did you doze off, Rusty? I think you slept through my solving the case. Yeah, yeah, very funny. You just give me a nudge if you see him, right? How about you nudge me? I think that's a job for your wife. Oh, Rusty. Yeah, see, if I got the lucky choice on actually being on the, the wrong side of the road compared to him, then potentially I'd be going one way, he'd be going the other way. That would make this much quicker. But also, I feel like this part is just luck anyway, like, of where you catch him. It's also kind of a pain in the ass, though. This is a gigantic pain in the ass. That's the way. I, uh... I will jump you back in maybe when fucking get oh there we go. Jump you back in when I find this fucking boss because this is stupid now. I will jump you back in. I found it! It has been hours! <laughs> it 
Jesus <laughs> being dead. That's the bus we're looking for. Ease in behind her and get her to the side of the road. It has been absolute days. Years have passed. But finally, did you fucking... That's the bus we're looking for. Ease in behind her and get her to the side of the road. Shut the fuck up, Rusty. I am in no mood. There's some kind of problem, buddy? LAPD. We're God investigating a murder. You had a sailor and a woman in a green dress on your bus late last night? That's correct. And the woman got off first, around 2 a.m.? Yeah, that's right. And the sailor stayed on all the way to downtown. Can you tell us where you let the woman off? On California Street. To tell you the truth, she looked a little lost, like she got off on the wrong stop or something. I didn't like dropping her off near that hobo camp. You've been a big help, Mr. Zeffirelli. I see. Because I'll be really honest, that felt like a piss take. That felt like so sailor boy escaped by the seat of his bell bottom trousers. A waste of fucking time. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Which means he's as good as killed her. We can't Get eliminate any in of them. But the figure man should car. be our starting point. I'm gonna call for some backup. These bows hate cars. Whatever. Okay, so yes, I found it fucking at last. Okay, so that means we now have to go to the hobo. You fucking serious now? This is fucking stupid. Right, last one to do. Hobo camp, and then we are done. That was a mistake. We ought I... to investigate the hobo lead. Well, if you think we ought to, then I guess we ought. Ooh, music went weird there. Um, right, I will jump you back in when we get over there, because I think it's a bit of a drive, considering how long the bus route was. So I'll jump back in in a second. Okay, I'm just about there. One thing I have found, as well, is that if I have the horn on, I shouldn't really also... I should just drive on the road. Because it kind of feels... Okay, we're going with a shotgun this time. Fair enough. You're very well dressed. <laughs> is that my car? LAPD. We'd like is... a word with you. Save it for someone who's interested. They're fascists. The siren. Move us on and steal what little we have left. Six rounds won't get us far. I need you to stay copacetic. We need to hold out for the cavalry. How do we do that? Like this. Buckshot to keep him down, so If you want your rifle make you feel share, we need to fight for it. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Let's go, motherfucker. What you Dickhead. Suck it! What's your name? Comrade Stalin. Very funny. We'll Ross find out Stalin for your and kick your face, in, bitch. Stuart Ackerman. You're under suspicion for murder, Ackerman. We're taking you downtown. You. You can't do anything more to me than what the Japanese have already done. Now you're a veteran. Is he the one that she was on about? Because he seems kind of well-dressed, in all honesty. Complete a brawl without no. losing your hat. As in, sorry, you may not see that. That was an achievement that just got. Finally complete a brawl without losing your hat. Still working, Jack. I'm off to the Lighthouse Club in Santa Monica. Hello, Jack. Mr. Vincent, this is Courtney Sheldon. It's a buddy of mine from the war. Well, I'm sure you two will want to polish some old war stories. Good evening, Jack. Mr. Sheldon. Good night, sir. Take a seat, Courtney. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, uh, what was I going to say? I had no idea what I was going to say. We need your help, Jack. I told you I would have nothing to do with that. Miss what? I'm fine, too, Jack. Medical school's going well. I got a part-time job. Do dope peddlers need part-time jobs? We made a mistake and we're in trouble, Jack. A local gangster, Mickey Cohen, is putting on the squeeze. So hand it over, walk away. What's stopping you? We had a deal with them, that they would dole it out slowly. They said they would supply abortion clinics and doctors. Right. But they've been moving it on to addicts. And they can't cope with the purity. So your problem is with gangsters being dishonest. My problem is that people are dying. And that if this gets back to us, we'll all end up in jail. So how am I supposed to help, Courtney? This isn't the war. I can't just wave a magic wand and clean up your mess.
We want you to negotiate, Jack. The only thing these guys understand is force, Sheldon. They got to the top back east by proving to be more vicious than the English, the Irish, and the Dutch. They make their own laws. That's the nature of a secret society. Cool. For God's sake, Courtney, you want to be a doctor. How can you fight with that? We are better trained, Jack. You actually want to go to war? I didn't make it through the war to come back to this kind of shit, Sheldon. Interesting. Sure, it's a good thing that like men who came back from the world were, were slightly were not slightly were honorable enough to not like take to a com all of them. I mean, complete life of crime. Because if you think like if you thought like you know, if all of them took to it together, the, like they would never be able to be challenged. You know what I mean? Is it surplus? Ackerman doesn't look like much of a dancer. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Okay, so is there anything else in here? Oh, oh! Shit! Hell yeah! Looks familiar. Safe bet it'll match the mark under Teresa Terrellson's chin. Yeah, baby! Can I put this down now? Awesome! Right. I'm... Wow. That sure looks like a beauty. Am I done? And she said. I think I'm done. Who the fuck are you? Are you the hubble we punch? Okay. Right, so now I can go. That's disgusting. Didn't you ever get done? Did the did the did our cavalry ever actually turn up? Or did we just kick ass on our own, Rusty? Because I feel like we just did it on our own, buddy. The officer Phelps, is she say? The husband has an alibi, but no real motive other than neglect. Jessup's alibi checks out. Bates is a recidivist. He'll be pulling the same stick until we put him away for good. Ackerman has history, opportunity, hard evidence. What motive? We have the evidence. No motive. No, she was here. All we need is a confession, and we can charge the bum with murder. Yeah, but do we want to charge the bum with murder? Is the question. Yeah, <laughs> like if it's like you know, like Matthew, whatever. You no, know, very organized. But like, just thinking, if like they came back from war and you know they weren't taken care of, etc., and they banded together for you know, criminal whatever organization, like. Can you imagine that the power they would have had? Like, they would have had, I imagine, some friends in the army to get good weaponry and shit. Potential to move medication and shit. Like, from, I don't know, maybe. And it's a time like that you could exploit certain bits and pieces for war. I don't know. It's just, it's very, I don't know, it's an interesting idea. Ackerman, you were in the Marines. How do you know? The I know everything. guys for flamethrower duty. That's how you got the burns. Life expectancy was five minutes for a guy in flamethrower detail. What kind of a government puts weight like that on a man's shoulders? This is a good question. There's no argument from me. It was a heavy load. You feeling sorry for this smelly fuck? Motive for the murder. Mrs. Terrellson. I have no recollection of the people I have killed. You hate women, Ackerman. More than you could ever imagine. What? How much did you hate Mrs. Terrelson? I ache to put my seed in them. Afterwards, I have no use for them. A bus driver what dropped the Mrs. Fuck is wrong with you? camp around 2 a.m. Why did you take her up to the hill? Which hill? I have many places. I go where I please. You are clearly insane, Ackerman. The state of California does not execute mental patients. I don't know the names of the women I've killed, but I've killed many of them. Their necks are so fragile. I don't Where were you around 2 a.m. last night? At the camp. 
That's that's actually a lie, isn't it? You were up on the hill. You were seen during the day. We have a witness. We have evidence. Come clean with me, Ackerman, and I'll see what I can do for you. I despise your pity. You have nothing that links me to this woman. I literally do. Where's the bus? We have you cold, Ackerman. Her purse and the ballroom ticket were in your lean-to. Tell us why you did it. I kill because people need killing. It's what I was trained to do. Stuart Ackerman, I am charging you with the murder of Teresa Terrelson. Damn. Pretty good arrest rate, though. A man down on his luck, I can abide. But a filthy red who chooses to live outside the rules of society, I cannot stomach. Maybe poor threes of Tarleton will provide the catalyst we need. I've spoken to the chief and the mayor, and I think it's time we send some men in to remove the godless and send them on their way over the county line. A grand day that will be, gentlemen. And a grand result you have brought me. You two are fast becoming my finest crusaders. Ooh, I'm a crusader. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be paying a lot of damage on this one. Do you know what? Not as much as I thought. An early visit to the hobo camp might have offered the lead, but good luck finding a coherent witness. Okay. Weird. Okay. Right, we are going to end that one off right there. Maybe not. I will right, see this bit. Hey, Tony. Frankie. Freddy. And I'm actually nice to them, so they're nice to me. Unlike dickhead vice guy. He's in love. Oh, he's in love. Okay. Right. Food's going to get to you. Thank you. We are going to end that one there. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, then please chuck some chat there on the like button. Subscribe if you have not already. And continue to share the channel far and wide. It is another guy in the cells. Another step closer to cleaning up the streets of LA. I shall see you guys again very soon. Meantime, stay happy, stay cheesy, stay positive. I love you guys. Bye-bye.